$100 3D printer versus 9 year old. Say hi. Yes. <laughs> we will switch to Polish. Here I am from the future and here is the printer already assembled in the future. The build plate is just 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters, so it's definitely not a huge printer. The printing speed is also not really that great. Definitely do not compare this printer to Ender 3, to CR10, to some other popular printer right now because this is not a printer for someone that want a very precise prototype, that want to build precise projects that I'm sometimes making. This is more of a printer for, I don't know, kids for example. If you want a really, really cheap printer, just want to have fun, print some funny models, see how 3D printing works, that's definitely a printer for you. It's super easy to assemble. I thought it actually will be way harder, but it took like just 20 minutes for nine year old kid to assemble this printer. It's super easy to use. There is not a lot of buttons. You literally have four buttons here on the control box. And it's, it's super light as you can see, you can easily carry it around if you need. The prints from that printer are really not that bad. As you can see here I have the free printed Benchy and it's actually a really decent print, way better than what I printed on my first printer ever that was the GG Aurora 605S I believe. And this print is way better than what I printed back then. Uh, so this printer definitely not a terrible one for kids, awesome, definitely not for engineers, for someone that needs precise prototypes. But still $100 for 3D printers, that's something that is pretty new because I think there was just one 3D printer that cost $100 and that was Hero 101. It was available on Kickstarter and Indiegogo I believe and I'm not even sure if that was successful. But I think that those super cheap printers are actually quite important because it's not only about creating super high-end technology at a very high price, it's also about creating those super inexpensive solutions so that the technology can achieve a bigger audience. I think that's what is very important when it comes to new technology, when it comes to 3D printing and I think the price of the printer right now, like under three to hundred dollars, a really decent printer for that price is already quite inexpensive but I think it will go even lower in a short amount of time. So maybe this small printer right here will be an option for you, maybe you want to buy a 3D printer for your kid, whatever it is, I just wanted to see how this printer works, if it actually can print anything for $100 and if 9 year old kid can assemble this printer and that's what you will see in a moment. Are you ready to No. Are a dasz radę tą złożyć? No, myślę, że tak. To masz? I otwieram. I thought that this printer will be totally in pieces, like separate screws and separate elements, but it looks like it's 90% assembled, so it will be really easy for him to assemble it. Do you have any instructions? No, I can't. I'll help you right now. Okay. Co? Trudno czy łatwo? No, nie wiem, no łatwo, nie? Ile Myślałem, ci to zajęło? Nie wiem, jakieś 20 minut. No, chyba tylko tyle. Myślałem, że będzie łatwiejsze. Tylko teraz trzeba przetestować, nie? No. I co, sam będziesz próbował testować? No, dobra, to od, 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 odpalę. Nie? Dobrze? Chcesz coś konkretnego drukować? Czy może być to, co już jest na karcie? Już Co? Już Nie wiem, coś tam zawsze jest na karcie wrzucone i możemy to wydrukować. Mm. Dobra, to sprawdź.
Jak oceniasz drukarkę? No dobrze. W skali od 1 do 10, jak łatwo się składa? No 10, nie? A jak dobrze się drukuje? Nie, no dobrze, nie jest głośne. Szybkie to też nie jest, ale za wolne też nie, więc jest ok. Polecasz? No polecam, bo jest tania, fajna, mała, poręczna. No fajna. That was quite easy. I thought this printer will be a lot harder to assemble. I thought that everything will be in pieces uh, and it will actually take a day, maybe even two, to assemble this printer for a kid, but it actually was very, very simple. The prints are also really good, as you saw, but one thing that I want to check is what's inside, what we have inside here. And also, I want to see what kind of motors we have inside this printer. I'm pretty sure that's 28 BYJ. 48 I think. I'm pretty sure those are the motors that we have inside, but let's take a look just to see what we have. So that's what we have inside the printer. I thought uh, that I will find the 28 BYJ48 stepper motors inside the printer, but it turns out that we have almost the same motors, but it's actually 24 BYJ28. It's just a little bit smaller and powered with 12 volts. So this motor is probably also a little bit faster thanks to the 12 volt power, because this one is super, super slow. As you could see in my video where I connected this stepper motor to the Arduino, it's really not that fast to use it in a 3D printer. And when it comes to the control box, we have a PCB with STM32 microcontroller. There is also a place for Bluetooth on this PCB, so if you will add a Bluetooth module, you probably will be able to control this printer remotely. That's a very interesting thing. What else can I say about this printer? All the cables are wrapped in the silicone wrap thing, so the cable management is quite nice. Uh, the nozzle is well protected, so it's quite hard uh, to burn your finger. That's really nice. You have a filament holder right here that is just for small spools like this one, up to 250 grams, I think. But that's just enough for this printer. Uh, you have the magnetic bed, that's a really nice addition. There is no heated bed, but this magnetic plate makes it really easy to remove the prints. That's a nice thing to have in such a small printer. And overall, this is more of like a toy than a real printer. If you need a you know, real solution for prototypes, for projects, that's definitely not a printer for you. Also, I should mention something about the buttons right here. You have just four buttons to control this printer, which is pretty convenient. You have the home button, plus and minus to load and unload the filament, and also the start button. And you may ask how you choose the G-code to print. It actually prints the last G-code that it finds on the SD card, which is pretty easy to use. That's usually how I use my printers. I just scroll to the first position, the first G-code that I just uploaded to the SD card and I print. So that's actually a nice addition. Uh, and also, right here with plus, minus and play button, when you click it, you actually have to wait for the hot end to heat up. So it actually takes a little bit to uh, execute the command that you run with those buttons. Also the software, uh, the software is pretty interesting because it's written in Unity, um, but it's very, very slow. So I end up just using Cura, which works pretty well with this printer without any problems. So you can probably use any slicer you want. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions, comment, or you can just leave in the comments whatever you want. Thanks for watching, happy making, bye.